our population of grains has declined by over 80 percent in the last 25 years and that is alarming uh, and the threats affecting this species include wetland degradation this grain can only breed in wetlands but our wetlands have been converted into agricultural land Sembabwe district has open water coverage of 75 hectares and wetland coverage of around 3,600 hectares that need to be protected for long-term conservation of the present grain. These wetlands, Madam Minister, and open water bodies serve as a key breeding sites of the present grains and therefore need special attention. We see deliberate uh, trafficking of, of young chicks, we see trade in uh, eggs of crowned crane, illegal poaching of crowned crane, and of course this is guided by the Uganda Wildlife Act. Sometimes people don't know, they thought it's a bird like any other, but we have talked to them, we have told them, we shall continue to be ambassadors, of, and then conserving and preserving the wetlands where they stay, where they dance, and speaking about it every other time so that our tourists can always come and see them. The cranes do not go to eat people's food. It is you people invading the crane's habitat. For stop, We need strong partnership for implementing successful conservation programs and reversing the current patterns of biodiversity loss together we can. The ministry in collaboration with partners has formulated the grey ground crane action plan. My ministry, the ministry of Kano Tomo Butine, and that is the ministry of tourism, wildlife and antiquities, has prioritized the implementation of this contract document, including restoration of critical habitats and conducting awareness. Our danger today is part of the wider planned campaign you have had of to restore habitants and population of the crane.